Brum's day for exploring the big town. It was very early in the morning and the buses were still in their garage. Good morning, buses, said Brum. said the mechanics. The buses were all getting ready for a day's work on the streets of the big town. See you around, Brum. Have a good day. You're up early, Ooh, said the lollipop lady. Brum. Some people with big cases were waiting for the bus to the town square. What have they got in there? thought Brum. Bye, Brum. I know where that bus is going. <laughs> and I could get there first. Surprised, 
Brum had beaten the bus. Raced you. What's in your cases? They were band people getting ready for a march in the big town square. Cool, thought Brum. A drum! So that's what was in the cases. Hurry up, said the band leader. We don't want to be late. But somebody was missing. We can't march without our big bass drum. Let me help, said Brum. I'll go and look for him. Brum looked everywhere. And then what do you think he saw? Dear, said Brum, what's he doing here? Are you all right? My alarm clock's broken, Brum, and I didn't get up in time. Don't worry, said Brum. They're waiting for you. Come on. But then, what do you think happened? to the town square in time. But then Brum had another idea. Stop! Stop! Hi, Brum. Can you take my friend to the big town square, said Brum. We're very, very late. This way, said Brum. Down there, said the driver. Yes, said Brum. Come on. Everyone was very surprised to see a bus going the quick way.
to the back of the theatre. The actors couldn't believe it. said Brum. Nearly there! And Brum led the bus into the big town square. Just in time. Mate, please to help, Brum. Thanks, Brum. Bye. Bye, Brum. And off he brummed all the way home.